still seated practice for CDCA and it's empty. It's 8.27, I thought I was late, but apparently no one is an early bird. <laughs> Everybody prefers to come at night and practice until midnight. After their, you know, school stuff, I block myself from clinics because I, I'm not, <laughs> not a late night person. I would rather do it in the morning. So I'll show you what I already prepped. I already prepped these. One, two, and three that I did at home, and they are my number 14 for endo, so I don't know if they're good. I need to find a professor to actually see if um, they're any good, but I'm going to practice my fixed stuff today, and hopefully one of these two, because this one's for some reason the hardest for me, so we'll see. skills. Good morning. My patient rescheduled last minute so now I actually have time to study for the exam because before I didn't. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I came here at 7 30 and now I have until 12 to study for my exam so I should have checked my schedule before. I think she rescheduled yesterday but it's all right. Everybody, it is Thursday today and I didn't have any patients today actually it's been kind of slow I'm a little concerned I only have a few appointments booked and you know it's good when you don't have patients but it's also kind of scary that you don't have patients I do want some rest and I do have a lot of paperwork and studying to do but I kind of worry that I don't have any appointments so I came to school today because I had a meeting with my GPL which is a group practice leader for treatment planning of my one of my patients but I came to his office at a perfectly perfectly on time and turns out I came to him during my class which I did most classes are not meant well they are mandatory but att attendance isn't taken so you kind of learn to compromise and if you can watch the class in a recording or listen to or read the lecture online it's easier to do other things so now the new policy is that the instructors are not going to see us during our scheduled class time so which leaves us absolutely no time to go see them and, and plan your patients at all because our um, supervisor is only there two days a week well three days a week but he's unavailable one of them so it makes my life very difficult when i found out he's actually not going to see me i almost started crying i was I didn't almost start crying. I, I did tear up a little bit because I was so stressed about this patient and just now I have no idea what I'm going to do because I don't have any available time in a month from now. The only available time is in November and it's early October and this patient is in a temporary. I have to do something about it. So this just bureaucracy of ridiculous things, ridiculous rules is killing me. I came to America thinking, not thinking, I didn't have any expectations, but for some reason I thought that organization of American schools is going to be different from what it is in Russia and it turns out it's either the same or worse sometimes because they do try to follow the rules to the T, which is good, but sometimes it just doesn't make any sense. So I'm in traffic now because I kept, that was kind of a waste of a day. Um, I came to school at 2 o'clock sitting in traffic and now I'm going back at 5 in the worst traffic so that is... That's just a waste of time, just a waste of time. So this is a good outlet for me to vent, to vent, just make myself feel better, but not everything is bad. Actually, after the failed meeting, I went to, to class that I you know, kind of was supposed to go to originally, and it was healthcare law, which I'm actually quite excited about. It's boring, it's deadly boring. Laws are boring in any shape or form, but it's not many schools actually teach a class like healthcare law, which is a huge plus to be you. So we kind of discussed bad parts and now we're jumping into the good ones because healthcare law is important. You need to know that. America is famous for suing everybody and my school might as well teach you. Oklahoma didn't have a course like that. So I actually did pay attention, did not make any notes, but it was kind of an introductory course. So I'm excited to learn more about it. 
we will see how that goes hopefully my patient situation gets resolved and i kind of after that class it was mind-numbingly boring and i was thinking about the situation that got me frustrated today with my gpl and just the whole organization system and the lack thereof and i kind of i got through my mad period of time so now i'm kind of content about it and i decided i'm not going to stress about it i'm just going to figure it out i need to study for my cdca anyway so it doesn't matter that my next patient's appointment is in november so i'm going to think about it next semester i guess when i have less classes and less of just bizarre things so yeah the most annoying thing that i was actually preparing for this meeting all morning and i not i have to study for my exams it's next week I have an exam every week, so minus, I have a ton of things that I have to do, a ton of presentations that I'm behind on, and I could have done that. And I was study, I was preparing for this meeting, I was mounting my models and polishing them and everything, and it didn't happen. So I kind of had a frustrating day, but it's okay. It's okay. Tomorrow I have a day off because I don't have any patience. Hello, everybody. Good morning. I'm on my way to school. I don't even know if you can see me, but this is a little weird angle, but. It's Saturday, it's 6.57 a.m. <laughs> I'm barely awake. I've been having this problem actually. I've been living so early that I've been falling asleep at the wheel. That's not, that's not a good idea. That's not a good thing to do. Um, but good thing is that I'm going four pretty much the entire time because the traffic has been insane lately. So even if I fall asleep, it's not like I'm gonna come crashing into somebody so when I fall asleep I just kind of stand and people beep at me it's fine but that's not great I'm exhausted I could barely get up it's annoying that I wake up at 5 a.m. because I have to be in school at 7 30 and I'm already late I'm, I'm late right now well I guess I'm all right but I was in a hurry because I was I forgot that it's Saturday and I was running because I thought that I will be in traffic but there's no traffic today so good news at least so today I have two patients, so I'm going to be in school until my patient, last patient is out at 3.30 and I'm going to SLC, I'm going to the preclinical lab to practice for my CDCA because I am terrible. I've been practicing, actually I've been practicing quite a lot, but I've been practicing with my compressor and handpiece in the SLC feels a little different so I want to get used to that feeling too and I've been showing my preps to my endo professor because I'm mostly worried about endo. I'm doing really good and fixed, but endo is what's like stripping me up. And I've been showing my preps to my professor and he said like, uh, yeah, that's not possible. Only one of them was passable. So I need to practice much more because my CDCA is in two weeks. And next week I'm leaving on Thursday. I'm not gonna be in school for half of the week. So uh, that's not great. I'm not gonna be able to practice. I'm, I do not like that. I'm very stressed about that. I wish that wasn't the case, but it is. And today I have two profis, one profi and one recall. I'm actually excited because today I'm supposed to complete uh, my profi summatives. Like I will be done with profis. Like I will finish my requirements for profis in school. I only have one summative left and I hope I will cover this with this. So I don't really remember how many recalls I have left. I need to count them when I come to school. Um, I think, how many recalls do I have left? I think I have one recall left until summatives, so I can start taking summatives. I, if you don't know what I'm talking about, in dental schools there are certain requirements that you have to complete before you can graduate, and they're called formatives, like zachot, like a pass, if you're from Russia, um, and the summative, which is an exam. Like, summatives is actually what's graded, and formatives are not graded, but to allow yourself to take summatives, you need to take a certain amount of formatives. So for recalls, I have just one formative left and I will be able to take summatives, which is exciting because I really, really, really want to get done with these requirements and get the hell out of here. So that, and also I'm doing another summative on oral hygiene requirements, oral hygiene instructions. So I'm going to school early for that because I have to memorize a six page document for that. It's a little silly because you just sit there with your professor and read a little lecture to the patient about just oral hygiene and it's a scripted lecture so that there's, there's specific things that you have to say and it feels really ridiculous because it's just you know you're answering an exam and the patient is sitting in a chair so anyway that i have to do that i have to do three of 
them and one through Zoom for some reason. I have to do two, one, one formative one patient, one summative one patient, and one through Zoom with a professor. I'm just like, okay, fine, whatever. I don't, there's not always logic. The latest problem that I encountered yesterday, which was, I actually took a day off yesterday. I didn't have any patients sign up, so I'm a little worried because I, I don't have patients now. I'm, I have very little appointments booked. But anyway, I had a day off yesterday, and we have to submit this treatment plan presentation, and it's like, um, it's like a very long ideal treatment plan presentation that we have to present in front of the group. It's a Zoom call because COVID, but it's actually more convenient to do through Zoom. So like three professors sit there and critique you, but you have to submit a large presentation with pictures of one of your patients and you have to have good casts. So we have to submit it before the end of the semester. And I just, I'm not even finished with my presentation yet. It's October. And I opened up the sign up sheet. I just noticed it. I, I, I swear I opened it like a week or two ago. There were nothing, no dates available to sign up for this. And I opened it yesterday and it's completely full until December. Like there are no spots at all. So if you don't complete it until December, you didn't complete the requirement. You didn't, you will not. I mean, I'm sure you will graduate, but you will lose points. Do I care about points? Not particularly, but I really don't want to get a C or a D on this grade. So I, so uh, it will actually hurt my graduation requirements, I guess. Anyway, it's just something stressful. I'm sure it's not a big deal and we will figure it out eventually and I'm going to get out of school, but it's something that I don't want to be stressing about, but I have to stress about. So that's my day. I hope you're having a good day. And I'm going to stop being distracted because I've been, I'm wobbling from lane to lane. And, but it, the talking actually keeps me awake. So that's a good idea. And I, I, I do drink coffee in the morning. I, do, I drink black tea. I don't, I don't drink coffee. Sometimes I do coffee. It just puts me to sleep. But I'm, I'm so tired. I'm past like the capacity of coffee. I need like hard drugs at this point. But all I need is sleep. I honestly just need to rest a little bit. But I just don't have time to rest. Oh my god, I don't have time to rest. Like yesterday I took a day off. And I didn't. I studied for my exam, which is on Tuesday. I did this stupid presentation dealing with this issue that I just told you about. So it's not rest. I took a day off of patience. But there's so much busy work that you have to do that it's, it, it's not a day off. And today is Saturday and I have so much. I'm going to be in school all day. Tomorrow is Sunday that I, I will have to do work too. My exam is on Tuesday. Like I have to study and write and there are assignments and oh my God. Anyway, I'm not going to depress you. Bye.